So yes, the new game that I'm playing, that I will turn the volume on real quick, for, turn the volume down on real quick. And we got to do this. We are going to be playing through, oh I forgot that if I click outside of the game window, it pauses the entire emulation. So yes, we are playing through the first Ford Racing game that came out in 2000, I think this game came out, for PlayStation 1 and PC. Either 99 or two, uh, 99 or 2000. So, uh, we're gonna get into this. We're just gonna press start. Hopefully the audio is pretty good. I'm going to actually turn this sound or music down. You know, I'll have it on just enough. So, lots of things are broken. Like what? What do you have that's broken? There we go. My stream. I don't think it is, but I'm just going to make sure it's a little lower anyways, because I don't want any copyright issues. But, you'll notice a few things. I'm going to actually move something real quick. Move the chat up there. We actually have a timer above my head, again. Uh, I did a timer. So the funny thing is, is, I did a timer for when I played through Need for Speed Most Wanted a while ago on PS2. I, I was playing through it on stream, and I was like, hey, I want to. I'm curious of how long this is going to take me to, like actually 100% this game, so I put a timer on the top corner of the screen. And, turns out, my uh, my good friend Rhino, he liked that idea well enough to where he started using it for his Gran Turismo stuff, which is fantastic, honestly. I'm glad that I have ideas that can spread at some points. And, uh, I could also click on this so it's not paused. Uh, then I'm like, hey, maybe for this Let's Play, I'll steal his idea, we'll just keep stealing each other's ideas, and eventually we'll we'll get there. So that is why there's a timer. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure that everything's set up right here before we start get started completely, and uh, then we'll start the timer off. And we're not speed running, by the way. This is not a speed run. This is just recording how much time it actually takes me to go from uh, like actual in-game time. And I'll pause it for say if you know I'm waiting for something or you know. If there's nothing going on, basically. And that'll be it. So, we have analog mode on. This is also my first PlayStation 1 Let's Play. Fun fact. So, let's go. So, what just happened? How did I go backwards? I don't know. Uh, so, there's a career mode to this game. And uh, it's pretty simply laid out. And 3 hours and 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll see how, how this goes, because I've played this game a total of very little. So, I might be able to finish in one stream, but we will uh, we'll see, pretty much. So, we're going to go through the career mode, and basically the way it works is there is going to be... Uh, like, championships of sorts? Where's the eye? There it is. And that should be good. Timer handicap. But yeah, we're going to enter the car season. So, probably going to split this up with... Basically, there's four races, uh, and at least in this first one. That's all I can figure out so far. We'll see. I'm just basically going to record this whole thing, probably all at once. Uh, or just keep recording until I run out of steam to record more. And... We'll see. So, we have the car... Races, I guess. There's a free entry. There is a money system in this game. It works a lot differently from Ford Racing 2 and 3, by the way, if if you're curious. Uh, we can skip this, apparently, whatever it is. Small and twisty track features high curbs that hamper tight cornering whilst overtake... Whilst the very short straight limits... I can't read to save my life. There's words there. And that's pretty much that. But yeah, I hope you're all excited for a uh, another new Let's Play. This is going to be in between Need for Speed and Forza, basically, I think. I still have Forza to upload, but that has been finished recording. So this will come after. So we have in our menu here for the, uh, the race, we have a practice mode, a setup where you can change the setup of the car, apparently. Even though I can't actually do anything in it because I'm at the very beginning of the game. Uh, we have a qualify mode. We can skip qualifying go to our options, which are the same options that we had before, which is also hidden items, which is 
interesting. It shows you all the cars you can unlock and all the tracks you can unlock. And that's about it, I think. So, uh, and you can load and save in there too, which I'll have to definitely remember to do because this game, of course, does not have autosave. So we'll go ahead and qualify. I'll probably end up qualifying for most of these races. I'm gonna have to remember how to actually play this game real quick. But yeah, if you're curious, oh, that's okay. So it's okay. So it's R1 and L1 for shifting. So we got our full Ford car here. Of course, uh, this game is being emulated on my PC because I was like, eh. I tried to play it on PS2 and my monitor just said, nope, we're not doing that. So, yeah, uh, nothing worked whenever I tried to do it on PS2. And I didn't really feel like doing it on PS3, so we're doing it on the PC. Believe it or not, though, I do actually own a physical copy of this game. And I'm also terrible at this already. This is going to be interesting because I think that this game gets kind of difficult, too, later on, I think. But we'll see. With the tiny wheels. Yeah, the, the, the wheels are tiny on this car. They are... Uh, definitely smaller than the, the average car's wheels. Because this car is smaller than the average car. You can look back. This game does support analog mode on PS1, which is nice. So I can actually use a thumbstick instead of using the D-pad. But of course, I am using the X and square buttons to accelerate and brake. The heads-up display is laid out pretty nicely. We have our lap on the top left. We only have two laps to qualify. Oh god. Also, I don't know why it says two and then two out of two. I don't understand that, but whatever. And then we got also timing stuff on the top right, as well as our tachometer and speedometer down the bottom right. This game, yeah, I mean, like, like I said, this game was released in 99 or 2000, one of the two. So it was at the end, towards the end of the PS1's lifespan. And, uh, yeah, it definitely, definitely looks like it. It's one of the better looking PS1 games. I'm pretty good. That didn't make any sense. Man, I am, my English is all over the place tonight. 2001? Wow. All right. Even worse. There is a PC version of this game, but I didn't feel like messing with it. So we're playing the PS1 version instead. I qualified on top. 0.2 seconds ahead, and now we can go ahead and we can start our race. If definitely, uh, with this little intro, it definitely looks and sounds a lot like Gran Turismo 2 or 1, which is funny. What is the 2 next to the qualifying? Oh, okay. So I qualified second on the first really bad lap that I did. That's terrible. That's actually awful. But yeah, this is going to be an adventure for sure. I, uh... I don't know how well or badly this is going to go. I guess that makes sense for that being the position. Because there is no position counter anywhere else on the screen that I can see. Also, these first events, very short. We have one lap for this race. We had more laps in the qualifying than we did in the actual race. Which is funny. But yeah, it's interesting to go back and look at Ford Racing 1 after I only played Ford Racing 2 and 3 as a kid. Considering that, uh... It's so much different. Like, it's still... They were track racing games throughout the entire series, basically. I mean track of sorts you didn't have like open world or anything and but it's interesting to see let's see if we get a thumbnail picture here somewhere in this replay because i am gonna have to do thumbnails for this replay cameras aren't bad not so not too bad so far i dig it but uh it's interesting to see how like serious this first game was Ah, yeah, that does make sense, Reaper. Alright, I should be able to get something out of that for a thumbnail. So there we go, we have... 20 points. I don't know what P and F means. But it... Oh, wait. P is pole. So I started on pole. Why is it... Where is L? Huh, fastest lap. I don't know, it's weird. I was ahead, though, so we got some moolah. We got some 325... Dollars, credits, monies, bank, 
Who knows what it's called. And we got some points. We got 20 points for our first race here. So, let's get on to our next race. Which is at Willowdale 1. Short and bumpy track that features a mix of fast-paced bends and tight hairpins. Start finish straight can be a good overtaking point, but is followed immediately by the tricky turn one. So, I don't know what skip means. I might I might press skip at some point, but I don't know what it means. So, uh, we'll go ahead and qualify, because I have been on this track, so I shouldn't need to practice on it. I, I was playing this a few days ago just to test it out and see how it worked. And, uh, it's, I don't know, I didn't make it very far, but I definitely got a little bit of a handle on the game itself. But ah, yeah, I see the 6 now, for 6th place. Makes sense. But also, uh, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I believe this is my first PS1 Let's Play, because I can't think of anything else I've done on PS1. Well, a PS1 game, I should say. Again... Using original hardware is questionable at the moment, but my PS1 is not very not very good at actually playing games and working correctly. But I believe this is actually my first uh, first PS1 game, first PS1 Let's Play. So that's pretty cool. And it wasn't even Gran Turismo. My PS1 is definitely whack. Ah, I, I qualified him first already. Very good. But apparently the AI just like really suck at this track or something. Also, that's turn one. It said turn one was tricky. Turn one is just a sweeper. <laughs> like the trickiest spot in this track is like right up here. This is the next hard left up here. Reaper, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know of any racing games for PS1. CMR. I have CMR 2.0 on PC, and it works. I haven't played it yet, but it, it I got to the menu and messed with some settings in it. But that's a, that's a future thing. That's not a now thing. I got six seconds better. Oh, third place. Uh oh. This one two halves. <laughs> That's understandable. So I did not. I'm not going to start on pole this time. I am two seconds behind the leader, which is questionable. Live qualifying, yeah, apparently. So I almost want to switch. Mm, we'll just keep going. At least till the end of this. I think it's a little, uh, a little delayed, but oh well. Hello, Supra. Go, little car! Ha, I get it because it's like a British car, and they say car instead of car. Ha, that's why it's called a Ford Ka, because it's a British car. Ha, 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 ha. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I feel truly terrible for that. Please accept my apology. <laughs> okay. Oops, that's the wrong button. Yeah, the track shapes are interesting so far. It does kind of look like a bicep. Look at a certain angle. Welcome. The strong GP. Oh yeah, this is one lap. I forgot about that. Ha! No, this is definitely not American. There is... Until somebody imports a Ford Ka, there's not a Ford Ka in the US. So there we go, there is our second race done. I got the fastest lap. I guess it, 
the L is for if you lead the entire race. I guess I didn't lead the entire first race. We got some more money, though. We got 600 credits, dollars. I have 38 points, whatever that means. I don't know how it's exactly 38. Uh, and we have our next race at Mesa Verde again. But something interesting is that we're uh, using the Fiesta this time. You're using the Ford Fiesta instead of the Ford Ka. Small and twisty track features high curbs, a hamper. I can't read this. I don't know why. It's like, what does skip button do? Oh. Oh, why did I press that? Why did I press that? It skipped the race. It skipped the entire race. Fuck! <laughs> uh, what is what is under info? Standings here info. Can I like go back to a certain race? I can't. That's really cool. So we're actually going to do this next race. I'm going to hit X, and we'll be good. The LP introduction. I don't know about that one, Reefer. Anyways, we're gonna qualify, because this is... We're getting into a faster car now. Oops, I keep thinking this is like Ford Racing 2. We have to hit shift up right away. So we have a slightly faster car now. Hello, Shotu. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to shenanigans. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That sounds like fun. Videos are fun. We'll see how this works, because, like, this car is slightly faster, so I can't just hold the gas the entire time. Phone stream time. Hell yeah. Chill time. <laughs> the split is not for actual speedrunning. It's just to see how much time it takes me to finish this game. Also, wow, I'm really bad. Oh, I qualified in fifth. All right, so far. Because I have no idea what I'm doing in this game, basically. The Ford party. Let's go. It ain't a party till the Ford Fiesta shows up. Just any percent this game just skip all of the races. There you go, you're done. I'm sure people do run Ford racing games, but I'm definitely not. Alright, can I get a good time? Am I gonna get a good time? No, I got in last. Oh wait, oh there's... I like how there's another, another timer for like another lap. But I'm not going another lap, which is weird. This car is also sponsored by the Ford Indigo, apparently. So again, last. I'm only 2.3 seconds behind. We should be okay. So car, yeah. It was the 70s after all, I don't know. Let's go, Fiesta. Let's have a party. Let's have a fiesta! Excuse me, coming through. The the physics in this game feel very Gran Turismo 2 -y, by the way. Oh, shit. That's not where I want to go. And going off track doesn't really hurt anything. Hmm. Herm. There's also no restart button in this game, which is questionable at best. No, I don't want to be on the outside. I really don't want to be on the outside. Let me in! Okay. That works, I guess. Heck you, I'll take second, I guess. Just don't lose. We're working on it, Chief. So I got in second. Which is disappointing. Disappointing. 
I really can't speak English today, I apologize. But English is not a language I can speak. Alright. Got a little bit more money, 650. So, let's do our uh, last event of this, which I believe this is the last event. I don't know, we have two laps this time. And we are driving the car again. Over two laps, which is interesting. Ooh, ooh. Oh, whoa. All right, let's qualify. I wonder if I'll qualify better in the car because it's slower. I would not be surprised if it was, if it did. Also, I like how there's one race in the Fiesta, but all of, all the three other races are in the car. I'm curious about that. All right, let's start the race. Let's go. This game's music is just very generic, like 90s music beat bops, or uh, beats, bops. Yeah, it's pretty quiet, I know. I didn't really want to get hit by just a random copyright thing that just barely, like, barely connects with uh, the song. So, we are muted. Well, not muted, but it's very low. Hello, game was. Welcome to the stream. Good evening. It is 9 p.m., so it technically is evening. I need to buy some chapstick or something. My, ch my lips are really chapped and I keep biting at them, which is not a good thing to do. I have no idea, Reaper, what we were listening to when, we, or when I was specifically playing this. For the first time that was, which was a couple days ago. Oh. I just bite at shit, which is not good usually. Maybe I'll go out and buy some chapstick tomorrow or something. If I wake up early enough. Let's go! First place yet again. Didn't quite get a best lap, but it's alright. So there's our longest race of the Let's Play done so far. And I think that's the end of an event? I don't know. This game doesn't really specifically... This game doesn't tell you shit about how it works. Honestly. So there we go, we got our, we got 35 points from this race, I guess. I did get the pole. I didn't get the fastest lap though. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, one of those two, Reaper. We have $950, 71 points total in that series. Race 4-4, four, four. four out of four. Oh damn, there we go. First position, season total, 1650. Total, 1450. Huh. Reject. No. I don't want to do this. I don't I don't want to press that. I don't want to press any buttons that I don't know what to do. So there we go. That is that. So I'm going to leave the game right here. And uh, we shall be back in the next episode soon. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.